week is going well. I was gonna go out there and talk to you, but it, you started steaming up too much, so I came inside. This morning, I am just here early morning sipping on a Totoro with, I'm having some of the Four Sigmatics Shaga Elixir. It has Shaga Mushroom, Rose Hip, Peppermint, and Licorice Root. Really tasty. Does not taste like licorice, does not taste like peppermint. Doesn't really taste, alter the taste of the coffee at all. Whereas Beauty Dust would impart a sweetness to the coffee. I only drank Beauty Dust in this, by the way, for kind of boosting the coffee's taste. Um, this enriches, it makes the coffee richer, but doesn't alter the taste, if that makes any sense. So it doesn't have a distinct flavor, whereas Beauty Dust does. And many of you did, did not care for the taste of Beauty Dust, many of you do. I kind of miss Beauty Dust, but I am enjoying these. I vacillate between <clears throat> going back to it or not. Um, you know, it does have the pearl powder in it, which is not vegan, so there is that. Um, but I do like the, the Beauty Dust has Shizandra in it. I've got some just plain Shizandra powder. So maybe I should start adding that. But in addition to Shizandra, Beauty Dust also have, has goji. So I think it's a combination of the goji and the Shizandra and Beauty Dust that make it taste so good. I wish they would just make a pearl-free pearl Beauty Dust. I mean, and then they, they could call it something else. I wonder if it would taste the same. But what's going on? I'm on my third tube of Altruist SPF. I really enjoy that. Completely no-nonsense sunscreen. Um, no gimmicks, and I'm rocking Color Science Mineral Shield on my face. And I've been wearing their body sunscreen, I'm rather enjoying that as well, the tinted body sunscreen. And this morning I did a tone it up arm routine. I'll list it down below for you guys who want to ever do those videos. Um, I did an arm video and it started out and I was like, oh, this, I, it was a really old one, like from 2011. I don't know how long their channel has been in place, but it was one from like 2011. And I had never done it before. And in the beginning I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. But by the second and third set, I was dying. <laughs> it's quite good. Um, so you guys are probably bobbling a little bit too much here for my my arm being a little sore today is a busy day for me later this afternoon I have a ton of errands that I need to uh, to get through I've got some car service that I have to do and I have I have to go to the bank, so I will take you guys along. But I wanted to update you on my Lavoie air purifier because I'm totally loving that thing. And you all were asking when I showed it, when I first got it, if I would update you on how, how well it does. So let me go in the bedroom and tell you about that. I have been using this every night. I just let it run. And I definitely do detect a difference in the air quality and my allergy symptoms using this. Because when I go to my mom's on the weekend, I find that I have a little bit more runny eyes and kind of itchy eyes. But using this, um, I really, I think it makes a difference. And I don't know, there's something about having it purring in the background. You can hit display and the light will go away if that light bothers you while you're sleeping. Um, but the sound still goes. Um, anyways, I, I like the sound is what I'm getting at. It, it kind of is a nice soft, soft uh, purr in the background. It's not loud at all. Really enjoying it. Um, you need to change the filters every, I think approximately every three months. I've had mine for, I'm going to say a month and a half at this juncture. So I'll need to, I'll need to replace the filters at some point. You can get them on Amazon. But I have really been pleased as punch with this bad boy. Time for a checkup. Isn't that a small cartoon doctor character? <laughs> uh, look, it's uh, my car, only not so much. Not the same one. Actually, yeah, that's the same one. Is a zip car. I'm here, here at the dealer to have my my good old oil change and tires rotated. For OG viewers, we are at the site of my very first vlog here at the uh, Mazda dealership. <laughs> it's been that long. The Mazda dealership has really amped up their tea selection. This is probably the, the highlight of my day today, sadly. It's the Bigelow Cranberry Apple. I've never had this before. Woohoo! I have had the orange and spice. Lemon Lift I've, I've had in Earl Grey and green tea but I love orange spice and I'm stoked to smoke for this. I also wanna try cinnamon apple, but that is tapped wisely, must be good. I think I have had cinnamon apple, it's pretty good. But the uh, the new tea snob in me, I can't do this. I feel as though uh, 
feel as though the uh, cast of Downton Abbey would uh, would judge if I drink tea out of that. Plus, I'm just gonna wager to bet that that's not sufficiently hot. So I'm gonna just take the bag, <laughs> drink it later. Hey guys, so my oil has changed, and it's my little ritual whenever I go to whenever I go to the car dealership to get my oil changed. I come over here to uh, Doctor Doctor Montgomery, I think his name is. He's a cardiologist. He has a uh, vegan cafe in his uh, in his clinic. Um, so I always come over here to uh, support the business because I really like their food and I really like their um, setup. I think it's brilliant. It's basically helping patients with cardiac disease um, have access to a plant-based diet. So I think it's wonderful. So I got the sprouted beet burger and it has this sprouted raw sunflower seed sort of bread with cucumber and sprouts and greens, microgreens. And these are chia battered onion rings that are baked instead of fried, I guess. And a salad with some sort of a cashew thousand island on the side. <laughs> Let's try the onion rings. So I just brewed up some of the cranberry apple tea that I got from the uh, Mazda dealership. <laughs> I snuck two bags. But I heated up my cup here with some boiling water. I've made a proper tea that I'm hopeful is uh, Carson approved. Let's see here. I just love these like Creuset cups. They're really sweet for tea. Just take him back over here, my brown Betty. So I need to get a tea cozy for my brown Betty, but I sort of just have this little uh, tea towel rigged up around it with a with a clothespin and a Tuscany candle judging back there in the cafe mocha scent. That cafe mocha scent is definitely one of my favorites, but here, let's have a sip. cranberry apple. This is going to be real. This is a good one for the fall time. I wish it were fall. It kind of feels like fall right now. It's cold in here and it just rained, but it's hot and humid out. Kitchen update. I'm going to share with you guys something cool my mom got me. She helped me get some things. Um, I, uh, she ran around and ran some errands for me and got some stuff in my apartment when I was moving in. And she got this, uh, OXO, I, I saved the container for you guys. I saved the label for you. The OXO Good Grips Large Expandable Utensil Organizer. Look how cool this thing is. You can like rearrange the um, rearrange the little dividers to accommodate things. Here are my little, my little kitty chopsticks. Um, I've just got some knives in there and forks, what have you, but I'm really liking this. It keeps everything stationary and then she's so nice and line the drawers it'll go five and a half inches but you can expand it up to 22 inches and then it's 16 and three quarters tall um and i really like it it doesn't move around everything oxo i've ever purchased has been really good my spiralizer my spiralizer is oxo and that thing is amazing it really does a good job and it never the blades somehow never get dull i've used it for what have i spiralized cucumber zucchini a sweet potato and apples i think that's about it i haven't ever tried i know a lot of people spiralize um plantains and they end up coming out kind of like rice and you can make like a plantain fried rice sounds good i've always wanted to try it but I have not also really like this jelly and cream, jelly and ice cream cake one from Tea Pigs. The tea bags here, I'll just get one out. 
it has these pretty little biodegradable tea bags. <laughs> I like them. So yeah, that's just a little tea update, but gotta love my rosehip tea. I don't really, I'm not really into this whole concept though of putting rosehip oil on the face. I, everybody always asks me about that, but I continue to see irritant dermatitis reactions clinically from that, so I don't know that it's really boding too well for people, but on the internet, everyone swears by it. Um, but drinking it, uh, it tastes great. I bought um, whole rose hips at one point. I finished them, but I bought whole rose hips from, I think I bought them from Vitacost. It was either Vitacost or iHerb. And that makes a really nice tea. You just put the rose hips like in a jar and, and pour boiling water over it. Very, very tasty. Well, hey guys, I came in here with my tea. I'm loving these Sakura cups from Le Creuset in my little kettle. They really hold the heat in quite nicely. I have been impressed with them. I am, beverages are, I'm very serious about my beverages. I always have either a tea or a water or a flavored water. I just like always having something to sip on, keep my palate cleansed at all times, just stay hydrated. I even, you know, kind of have to dial back the, the beverage consumption towards the end of the day so I'm not up all night diaresing. <laughs> but I went to my mailbox and I thought I would close out the vlog and share with you all something that I um, got from Vanny Cream. You all, if you're not familiar, Vanny Cream is a brand that I really, really love and I always recommend it to really anyone. All of their products are marketed for sensitive skin. They're very eczema friendly. They're very rosacea friendly. But you don't have to have sensitive skin to use this. And if anything, their, their products are, are a good idea if you're just confused as to what to use because they really don't have any nonsense ingredients. I think it's very confusing with the cosmetic industry. They pick and choose certain ingredients and for whatever reason demonize them even though in clinical, in, in clinical reality, the ingredients that the cosmetic industry chooses to zone in on are tend to be irrelevant. And then they, they get away with sneaking in fragrance and things that actually are problematic. But Vanny Cream is wonderful, very clear cut, very, very transparent as far as their ingredients. No fragrance, no no ingredients that cross react with fragrance. So, you know, herbal extracts, plant derived ingredients, flowery extracts, none of that is in this. Nut oils, these are all, these all have the potential to be problematic, particularly for people with fragrance allergy. And you might say, hey, I don't have fragrance allergy, why does it matter? Fragrance allergy is one of the more common contact, um, one of the more con common contact allergens. And just because you don't have it, does not mean that you will not develop it at some point. And it, by definition, it's something that develops because you have been exposed to it. So, you know, avoiding it is, is a good way to, to try and reduce the chances of, of it occurring. And it's very difficult to avoid fragrance, very difficult. So much so, if you have a true fragrance allergy, I mean, you know what the battle is like. It just doesn't have a role in skincare and, and in cosmetics. Um, and so that's why I'm always like, try as best you can to avoid it. And even people who don't have fragrance allergy, a lot of times they will have problems with fragrance. It, you know, will cause some vasodilation in the skin because it's irritating, lead to redness. If you have rosacea, it can really be problematic as well. Then there are some other ingredients in here that are also common allergens. Methyl, chlor methyl isothiazinolone is absent from all of their products. Methyl chloroisothiazinolone, you know, similar little kissing cousin, is also absent from their products. The surfactant cocamidyl propyl betaine is not present. That is another, another problematic ingredient. And a lot of the um, formaldehyde re releasers, which are preservatives that are commonly present in uh, a lot of skincare products, not dangerous, but people can d become allergic to those. And the cosmetic industry doesn't often, doesn't often put those on the label. They're always like, oh, paraben-free, paraben-free. Parabens really aren't that 
problematic. Um, and they're not really endocrine disruptors. I mean, if you're a fish and they incubate you in a pound of paraben, which is how those studies are, are more or less done, a mouse that has been injected with mega doses of parabens, yeah, you're gonna form a tumor, okay? But for the, for the ordinary human, there's no evidence of harm to human health from exposure to parabens. An allergy to parabens applied to the skin is really not that common. Fragrance is far more, far more of a common allergen in skincare products, but um, uh, Vanny Cream's products don't have any of that in there, so they're very, they're, they're usually a very, very safe bet uh, for people with, with uh, contact allergens. Uh, but I've got here um, deodorants by Vanny Cream. I'm a huge fan of the Vanny Cream deodorants or deodorant that I have tried, which is the Vanny Cream antiperspirant. This is a aluminum zirconium uh, trichlorhexidate um, uh, salt uh, deodorant. I have a whole video on deodorants where I talk about how aluminum is not like this cancer causing thing that everyone is phobic about um, and is a great ingredient as a deodorant or as an antiperspirant. Trickles down into the equine sweat gland, plugs it up, and actually reduces perspiration. It is an antiperspirant. And antiperspirants, in theory, you know, contain those. And anything marketed as deodorant is technically just perfume and a stick. But I find that with labeling, they kind of start to start to, to cross cross react and you know th something will, will be labeled as a deodorant rather than an antiperspirant but it still has aluminum salts in it so it's still designed to block sweat release um and it's great it, there it's not dangerous it's not problematic it can however be irritating the salts in in, in antiperspirants can be irritating and for many of you who have you know just kind of chronic irritation from deodorant sensitive skin to deodorant the aluminum salt can actually be just irritating and that irritation can lend itself to chronic um, hyperpigmentation but the um, band cream also has come out with an aluminum free deodorant so i'm interested to give this a try it's water um, triethyl citrate sodium polyacrylate um, undecided Silenoil glycine and sodium hydroxide. It sounds like um, potentially um, kind of like, I don't know how this works. I'll be interested to give it a try. I know a lot of you have used that clear stick thing. There's like a crystal ball or something that people use. It looks kind of uh, celestial, but I'm going to give this a whirl as an aluminum free alternative. I'm really glad they came out with this because while aluminum is not a problem in deodorants, it can be, it's not a problem in the sense it's not deadly, but it can be irritating. So it's nice that they have an aluminum free um, deodorant. So we'll give that a try. And then my standby Vanny cream product that I love is their um, moisturizing cream in the tub. I got this for um, I'm in, I use this in the winter time. I either use this or CeraVe in the tub. This is also wonderful. Fragrance free. Um, it has a pump on it, but it is a nice thick cream. Um, and their products are cruelty free, by the way. They don't test on animals. And so if that's something that is, is um, of interest to you, then you know motivation in your skincare products, do you know that Vanny Cream does not test on animals. But yeah, their lip SPF is great. Um, I really like it. It's so far one of the best ones that I've tried, one of the best US lip SPFs out there. But yeah, I can't say enough good things about Vanny Cream. I really, I recommend them, their products, really for any kind of skin type, doesn't matter, oily skin, acne prone skin. I mean, all of those skin types are largely a cosmetic marketing thing. Um, as I talked about in my Determine Your Skin Type video. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, subscribe and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.